Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Reality Enigma, and I'm here tonight, again at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2948 in Lorville on the planet Hurston. And you might be wondering why I started this video looking at a Big Benny's and Pip's vending machine. Well, I have this little theory based upon uh, some evidence that I uh, observed at CitizenCon this year where they were selling Big Benny's noodles, uh, company was. And, uh, you know, they had the truck, it was all set up as Big Benny's. You got the noodles, you even got the box, the same box that is in the game. You get a box. Well, I have this idea or theory that eventually CIG is going to start selling, you know, like Big Benny's noodles through some company, some kind of partnership where you can purchase it and, and you know, eat it and play the game. And, and, and you can buy Pips Pop, maybe Coca Cola is a company that makes that and they'll sell it to you and I'm sure you'll pay ten dollars a case but I, I just have this feeling that we're going to see some kind of uh, collaboration uh, beyond just citizen con where you can purchase Big Benny's noodles pips pop and uh, or energy drinks maybe these are energy drinks pips energy drinks maybe with Red Bull there you go keep people gaming um, so we are going to go to the uh, Drake Pavilion, I think it's called, uh, the, the Drake uh, floor at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. We're going to hope that this time when we go there, there's ships. Um, I started this recording a little bit earlier and got hit with the infamous no ship this bug. And I tried to go up and down the elevator a couple times and take care of it, so I went ahead and logged back out. Here I am logging back in, but I'm hoping this time... We, on the showcase when we get to the showcase they're gonna be ships because Drake unlike some of the others actually has a pretty varied selection of ships now the good news tonight or bad depending on how you look at it is that we have one floor to cover and there's not as many ships but they're varied and I think that's uh, that's golden uh, some of the other ship uh, there they are the ships are here tonight yeah and uh, so I'm sorry <laughs> there's a Drake interplanetary logo there uh, one thing that we don't see tonight, obviously, is the Kraken. Um, they don't have it uh, on display, which, I don't know, with the Idris on display yesterday, you'd think that they would do the same thing with the Kraken since we, you know, if, if you watch any of the Citizen Con videos, when they showed off Hurston and actually were here at Tisa, there was one on the landing pad. But, not here. Look at that, it's an Anvil Arrow. Again. Okay, moving right along. We have the Drake uh, dragonflies. We have the base dragonfly, which is black. I don't think there's to call it base. I don't think there's really much difference other than the color. Here's the uh, dragonfly yellow jacket, and this this one right here, the star kit. To be honest, I didn't even know this existed, so I don't think I would want one. But. Uh, I didn't, you know, there it is. But the, these are the hover bikes by by Drake. Pretty cool. If we turn around, uh, we'll come over here and we'll see the Buccaneer. And I believe this is kind of just a little small gunboat, but uh, fighting ship. Pretty cool looking, I have to admit. I don't think I want one. And it kind of reminds me, I don't know why, but of a Harrier. But in any case, we have over here the... Drake Herald, which is a information running ship. Uh, those particular game mechanics aren't in there yet, but allegedly you'll use this to get information and uh, you know, take it uh, take it back to the news news desk, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how they uh, actually get that into the game. I wanted to show you inside. I just. I don't see a way to open it without renting it. I really don't want to rent it. Um, you know, there's a little bit of space and there's a bunch of server racks in there. And then of course there's a cockpit. I believe it's a one person ship. Can't remember if it has a bed. I don't think it has a bed. But there it is. And there's of course the current in-game playable crown jewel of Drake in my opinion. Um, we'll talk more about that here in a minute because I, I have some good opinions about that ship. And if we come over here though we have the Cutlass Switch. As of right now, I believe this is a Cutlass Black. Uh, everybody who is in the free fly will have access to this ship. And there it is. Yep, the Drake Cutlass Black. I'm not a big fan of the ship. Uh, I, you know, it has beds in it. 
but it doesn't have a toilet. I don't, I don't understand that, and I'm guessing that it's some sort of a limited type of dropship. But, yeah, some people love it. Some people swear by it. I just think they have uh, Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Not really, but uh, this is the ship that I'm really interested in. I'm actually thinking seriously about grabbing one of these because you know they talk about the kraken and it being a carrier this sucker here is a carrier look at that there are four bays that can hold a small ship or even a rover four bays and cargo right there we have some really large guns on the front so we have offensive capability there's turrets on here so there's turret platforms and if we come around here to the front there is another bay up front and there's four guns up here. See that? Four. One, two, three, four. This is a pocket carrier right here, if, if that makes any sense. So, from a versatility standpoint and price standpoint, this ship makes the most sense. I, I don't I don't think that there are any uh, Krakens left. At least there were a little bit earlier. But why spend $1,500 on a Kraken when for 295 bucks you can get this sucker? And, you know, obviously it, it's not a Kraken, but it's you can play with it now. It has a lot of uses, lots of cargo, cargo and ships, etc. I mean, it's it's a pretty slick ship. So, oh, here's a turret down here. So we've got the turrets, we've got the engines. Here they are. Of course, the landing gear there. It has... I want to say that's an engine right there. Let me look. Let me make sure. I'm going to call it an engine. So basically it has four engines. So there, there's that. And I can tell you right now, it's kind of deceptive. Now, I, it isn't a small ship, but it looks a lot smaller on the outside than on the inside. So let's uh, try to remember the... Where, where did I enter? Oh, boy. Let me, let me find out where the entrances there was an elevator and I believe it's back there to be honest yeah, I just went in this earlier I feel uh, feel kind of embarrassed I don't know where it's at which is okay it says stand clear so I'm gonna assume that it's over here um, where is that elevator well this is kind of frustrating I don't... This is the only thing I hate is when I'm looking for the... The buttons for the elevator. I never... I never can find them right off. Ugh. So... Let me see. Where... Where is the elevator in here? And I'm not going to cut this out. I want you guys to see this. So that you can laugh at me. <laughs> But honestly, I, I, I'm trying to find this elevator, and I, I want to believe, since it says stand clear, it's right here. But I can't... Is this it? Yes, there it is. All right. Whew. Man, for a minute there, I was I was getting a little bit worried. All right, so let's get up in this ship, and let's take a look. Let me, let's take a look at the uh, Drake Caterpillar. I... I, I all right, so here we are inside. Really cool. So there's a couple places we can go. Let's head, go ahead and head towards the back. So back here, there's a lot of things here. Um, if we come in here, I'm gonna assume these are the engines. If we come into the back here, we have a engineer station. So take a look at that. It's pretty awesome looking stuff. And if we go forward here, there's a there's a ladder and these ladders right now are kind of really janky but if we come in here we've got a turret so there's a turret and if we come through here we've got a ladder that will go up towards the second level we've got a kind of a lighting bug there if we come through here this uh, opens up the tractor beam room so remember like I said the ship has carrier capability has a tractor beam can haul cargo has the ability for multi-crew, can be flown alone, 
but uh, definitely multi crew. We come back here. We have a server room, so apparently can hold data. All right, so power plant access. That's the jump drive, which is where I think we just came from. Yeah, it's downstairs there. So there's where that uh, that ladder goes. So that's the upper hallway. So let's take a peek at that. Yeah, there's the door. So we've already been in here. You can see you get lost. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the bridge. Yep, command access. It's interesting. Double door. Come out here. And we've got back here two more seats. This is... You just have the ability to power on the ship, I think. But two additional seats back here. I'm, I'm assuming these will do. these stations will do more than just power the ship on. But up here we also have a pilot and co-pilot access. So that's 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 pretty slick. Um, this elevator goes down to the first level so you can easily get down there. So we come down here. We go through these doors. We have another elevator that goes up to I believe that's an exit there. I think it's for docking. Let's come through here. And we get to the hangars. Another little error. But we've got, here's the first hangar. And you can see we can walk the catwalk. Second hangar. Walk the catwalk. Third hangar. Obviously, this area is depressurized. Just want to point that out. And the, the that one. Turret access is here. And then the other hangar bay. So there's the back turret. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and go back through here. And of course you can run through all of these levels down below. And if we come this way, there's also crew quarters, which I think is absolutely cool. So this ship is designed to, to run for a while. All right, so that's, that's the upper hallway. Stairway access. I think the stairway access is where we need to go. Let's hope I'm right. So I'm gonna go through here and go back. Habitation access, there it is, and there's the elevator, of course, to go down. And as we can see, we have uh, a, a place to eat, a place to cook, a place to put your, oh, a place to poo. There you go, there's the poo place. Uh, shower and poo at the same time. So any of you into waffle stomping, this is your, uh, this is your ship, guys. Uh, we have two two beds here. I would thought there would be more, but we have two beds there. Of course, this just goes back out that direction. So let's go through here. Module one. Ah, so this. Oops. This takes us out to like the below the catwalk here. So and there's an there's a ladder there, so that you can go up and down. So as we come through here. We can go through all of these doors to each individual hangar and all the way to the back. I, I, I mean, that is, this is an awesome ship. And, I, and I've known about it and I've seen other people play with it. I just really hadn't taken in the absolute awesomeness of it. Um, it's a very well laid out ship, a very well designed ship. I'm going to go with there's two beds here. Seems like there would be more beds. So, but there's at least, you know, the, the interesting thing I'll have to find out is if more than one person can spawn on a bed. That'd be interesting. I think there'd be more beds. But that being said, it, it's not designed to have, you know, 50 people manning it. This is a, this is a two to five person ship, and I think that's awesome for what it does. I mean, look at all the functionality here. Um, it's it's a very capable vessel. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and hit the, hit the exit. I'm just going to end up going back upstairs. I will, we will jump. I will say that I rented this ship a little bit earlier when I was taking a peek. So I'm going to do some recording of it flying around. But wow. That is a really cool ship. And like I said... There's not as many ships here, but we've got this huge multi-functional ship. Subcapital, but still multifunctional. I think it's as subcapital as you can get before your capital. We we have the cutlass here. 
Siege. Again, not my favorite ship by any means, but it's quite a bit different than most ships. We've got the Drake Harrow. We have the Buccaneer. We have the Hover Bikes, the Dragonflies. I mean, that's a pretty differentiated set of selections. And of course, the Kraken. So, uh, you know, when you look at Anvil or you look at um, some of the other manufacturers, RSI, uh, uh, the uh, Aegis, they have a pretty pretty common set of uh, functionality. A lot of them are fighter ships or exploration slash cargo and RSI's, you know, a lot of uh, bug, bug, buggy looking ships. Bugs look like bugs, insects. But Drake has a very industrial, but well, you know, each of their ships is quite a bit different. The common theme is that they're very industrial looking. And I really like that. So, but anyway, this has been a look at the Drake Interplanetary Showroom Floor at uh, Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2948. And uh, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to be notified of more videos. I'm going to try to keep this up. I'll be honest, you know, a lot of people act like YouTubers don't do a lot of work. Just recording this, getting it off here and up into YouTube is quite a bit of work. And I haven't even sat down to put together any sort of videos yet that are, you know, stitched together from a lot of different footage. I can only imagine the level of effort that that takes. So for, if any of you are watching, I, I, I have respect for you guys. Anyways, this is, uh, I'm going to sign off here and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.